Hi, welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Solaries gel. So what is Solaries gel used for? Solaries is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory dermatological gel. When applied to the skin, Solaries gel is used to treat a skin problem known as actinic or solar keratosis that is caused by long-term sun exposure. How does Solaries gel work? Solaries gel contains the active ingredient diclofenic sodium, which is a type of a medicine called a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID for short. <coughs> Actinic keratosis are rough areas of skin caused by sun damage over many years. For example, sunbathing or using sunbeds or working outdoors. They occur in fair-skinned people whose skin is particularly sensitive to the damaging effect of UV rays. So the skin lesions are usually harmless. However, about 2% will turn into skin cancer or squamous cell carcinoma. Some small actinic keratosis may disappear on their own. However, the chance of an actinic keratosis turning into a skin cancer falls if the actinic keratosis is treated early. Diclofenic's action in the body involves inhibiting a substance called cyclooxygenase. So this is normally involved in the production of various chemicals in the body, some of which are known as prostaglandins. By inhibiting the action of cyclooxygenase, diclofenic reduces the production of prostaglandins. It is taught that Solarase gel may work by reducing the production of a particular type of prostaglandin called PGE2. So how do you use Solarase gel? Avoid getting the gel in the eyes and inside of your mouth and nose. Rinse with cold water if accidental contact occurs. Do not apply the gel to skin wounds, infections or dermatitis or eczema. Solaries gel should be gently applied to the skin lesions twice a day, usually for 60 to 90 days as directed by your doctor. The amount of gel to use depends on the size of the lesion. Usually a pea-sized amount should be used for an area measuring 5 cm by 5 cm. However, follow the instructions given to you by your doctor. Wash your hands thoroughly after applying the gel, unless the hands are the area being treated. If necessary, you can use a permeable bandage to cover the treated area but do not use an airtight occlusive dressing. Complete healing of the lesions may not occur until a further 30 days after treatment has stopped. Solaries gel should be used with caution by people with a history of ulceration or bleeding in the stomach or intestines, people with decreased liver function, people with decreased kidney function, people with heart failure, and people with a blood clotting disorder. Solaries gel should not be used by people in whom aspirin or other NSAIDs, for example ibuprofen, cause allergic reactions such as asthma attacks, itchy rash, nasal inflammation, rhinitis or swelling of the lips, tongue and throat, which is angioedema. Also women in the last trimester of pregnancy and children. So regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, this medicine should not be used in the third trimester of pregnancy. The safety of diclofenic in pregnancy is not established and if used in the third trimester it may delay labour, increase the length of labour and cause complications in the newborn baby. The gel should not be used in the first and second trimester unless considered essential by your doctor. If this medicine is used during pregnancy it must not be applied to a large area of skin and must not be used for more than three weeks. It is unlikely that this medicine will pass into breast milk after application to the skin. The medicine can be used by breastfeeding mothers but should not be applied to the skin of the breasts. Possible side effects of Solaries gel. So common would be application site reactions such as inflammation, irritation, pain, tingling and blistering. 
Sensation of pins and needles or increased sensitivity to touch at the site of application. Allergic inflammation of the skin and skin reactions such as eczema, dry skin, redness, itching and scaly skin. Conjunctivitis, eye pain, watery eyes, abdominal pain and diarrhea. So the side effects I've mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. For more information about any other risks and side effects, you need to read the information leaflet that comes with the medicine or speak to your doctor <coughs> or pharmacist. How can Solary's gel affect other medicines? You should generally avoid applying other products at the same area of skin at the same time as Solaries, leave about a half an hour before applying moisturizers or sun creams to the area you treated to give it time for the medicine to be absorbed. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through the website mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy Douglas Cork or ring 0214366923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.